in the first topic we discussed what is big data what are its advantages and sources now we will look at the structuring and elements of big data in your daily life you may have come across questions like how can i use to my advantage the vast amount of data and information i come across which news articles should i read how do i choose a book of the millions available on my favorite sites or stores how do i keep myself updated on events news updates whatever taking place across the globe today solutions to such questions can be found by computers recommendation systems can analyze and structure a large amount of data specifically for you on the basis of what you searched what you looked at and for how long thus scanning and presenting you with customized information as per your behavior and habits this is called structuring of data this is what goes into play when your favorite shopping site presents you with a fantastically picked set of recommendations when you log in it is when technology is used to study and analyze the data to understand user behavior requirements and preferences to make personalized recommendations for every individual data that comes from multiple sources such as databases enterprise resource planning systems or erp systems web logs chat history and gps maps varies in its format however different formats of data need to be made consistent and clear to be used for analysis data acquired from various sources can be categorized primarily into the following types of sources internal sources such as organizational or enterprise data which can be used to support the business operations of an organization and external sources such as social data from the internet or the government which can be analyzed to formulate policy and understand the market or the environment or technology have a look at the table on your screen you will see that sources can be internal or external but they usually provide three kinds of data structured data unstructured data and semi structured data it's when all these three data come together that we can actually visualize what is big data you will notice that typically unstructured data is larger in volume than structured and semi structured data let's take a closer look at each of these data types structured data can be defined as a set of data with a defined repeating pattern this pattern makes it easier for any program to sort read and process it obviously processing of structured data is much faster than the processing of data without specific repeating patterns let's take a quick look at a sample of structured data in which the attribute data for every customer is stored with individual data points in the defined fields from this let's try to derive a few features of structured data structured data is organized data in a predefined format it is data that resides in fixed fields within a record or a file it is formatted data that has entities and their attributes mapped it is used to query and report against predetermined data types some sources of structured data include relational databases flat files in record format multidimensional databases and legacy databases unstructured data is a set of data with a complex structure that might or might not have a repeating pattern it consists typically of metadata comprises inconsistent data and consists of data in different formats such as emails text audio video or image files some sources for unstructured data include text internal to an organization think of documents logs emails etc data from social media and mobile data a fantastic example of the usage of unstructured data is in supermarkets where unstructured visual information from cctv footage like where customers halt their behavior during a bottleneck how they navigate through a store is combined with structured data comprising bill counters and products to arrive at a complete data driven picture of customer behavior this can be used to create a better shopping experience for the customer and of course generate more sales for the store about 80% of enterprise data consists of unstructured content unstructured systems typically have little or no predetermined form and provide users with a wide scope to structure data according to their choice so it becomes the weapon of choice to gain considerable competitive corporate advantage and to also gain a more holistic complete picture of future prospects 
but clearly because of its unstructured nature there are some challenges it is usually difficult and time consuming to make sense of unstructured data it is usually difficult to combine and link unstructured data to more structured information to improve decisions and plans there are cost additions in terms of the storage wastage and of course there are cost implications of storing huge amounts of data the table on your screen shows the results of a survey conducted to ascertain the challenges associated with unstructured data the survey reveals that the volume of data is the biggest challenge followed by the infrastructure requirement to manage this volume managing unstructured data is also difficult because it's not easy to identify it semi structured data also known as schema less or self describing structure refers to a form of structured data that contains tags or markup elements in order to separate semantic elements and generate hierarchies of records and fields in the given data such type of data does not follow proper structure of data models as in relation databases to be organized semi structured data should be fed electronically from database systems file systems and through data exchange formats including scientific data in xml or extensible markup language xml enables data to have an elaborate and intricate structure that is significantly richer and comparatively complex some sources for semi structured data include database systems or file systems like web data and bibliographic data or data exchange formats like scientific data an example of semi structured data is shown on your screen which indicates that entities that belong to a same class can have different attributes even if they are grouped together Now that we have examined the way data arrives and is presented let us move on to elements that characterize this data Big data primarily consists of the following three elements volume velocity variety Let's now take a more detailed look at each of these elements Volume is the amount of data generated by organizations or individuals Today the volume of data is approaching exabytes which is millions of gigabytes Some experts predict the volume of data to reach zettabytes in the coming years. Think about the numbers. Google Inc processes around 20 million gigabytes in a single day, while Twitter feeds generate around 80 megabytes every second. Velocity describes the rate at which data is generated, captured and shared. Enterprises can capitalize on data only if it is captured and shared in real time. Existing systems such as CRM and ERP face the problem associated with the speed of data which adds up continuously and cannot be attended quickly these systems are able to attend data in batches every few hours however the time lag causes the data to lose its importance and in the meantime new data is being constantly generated ebay for example analyzes 5 million transactions every day in real time to address frauds arising from the usage of paypal A pool of data from social, machine and mobile sources continues to add new data types and varieties of data to traditional transactional data. Thus, data is no longer organized in any predefined form and comprises new types of data including web log data, machine data, mobile data, sensor data, social data and text data. In this section, we looked at the various types and structures of big data and the elements that form it. 